Good morning. The time is 7.16 a.m. Right now in West and East Lealman it's 48 degrees and partly cloudy. Today, it'll be mostly sunny, with a forecasted high of 52 and a low of 41. Did you hear about what? the snowman that got upset when the sun came out? He had a total meltdown. <laughs> You're too funny, girl. Put my morning playlist in Apple Music. God, I missed you guys. I literally missed you so much. Yes, I know. I caved in. I'm part of the class. <laughs> the class, the group. I was gonna say group. Anyways, good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. I have so much to say, but honestly, I literally have about an hour-ish to kill, maybe less. Welcome back to my channel. I'm filming today kind of like a weekend in my life vlog. Just today saturday and tomorrow sunday so yeah i'm so excited i just made myself some breakfast scrambled egg with a little bit of ham on the side also it is freezing outside so i'm gonna put a jacket because i'm freezing right now i'm frozen get it frozen samantha <laughs> here goes back with her stupid jokes this jacket and i go way back so yeah while i eat really quick i'm planning on doing a mini quick get ready with me happy new year guys oh my god i have so much to say literally i'm probably gonna have a minute here with you guys and just talk about the new year i have a lot to do this weekend just so excited to be vlogging back and talking to you guys i missed you guys again and i've said it like hundreds of times so i did i missed vlogging i took about a week and a half off no i think more i took about two weeks and a half of vlogging but a week and a half off of youtube because i started posting my vlogs i have two christmas vlogs left i have the jingle ball concert which already went live and you guys are so excited to see it everyone was questioning me on instagram they were like where's that footage did you lose it why didn't you upload it i was gonna upload it and edit it really quick before my in-laws came in but the time rolled up so quick that i had so much to get done so i didn't have time to do it so sorry guys i still posted it so people were like happy they were like oh here it is <laughs> so i'm so glad you guys are enjoying it and yeah happy new year we're in 2023 it still feel kind of like weird it doesn't feel like a new year for me i don't know why but we spent the new year celebrating and christmas completely sick i am almost done editing with that footage of like christmas day and the christmas vlog so it's sad because we were all so sick that i didn't vlog a lot and if i did the vlog was all over the place so i had to put a lot of captions but yeah today i'm doing my nails i have a nail appointment at nine with ivy i still don't know what i'm gonna do i might keep the same almond shape and i might go for that trend like chrome that they're doing with a pink chrome kind of want to do something pink i don't know why but maybe it's because valentine's approaching i don't know but i want to do something pink and then after that i have a lot of stuff to do so i have my planner that i have been using oh no i got something on my eye now this is gonna bother me but this is my new year planner this is from shop amanda ratchley i will link it down below for you guys it's so cute i forgot it came with a bookmark so i noticed this yesterday and i was like oh my god it came with a bookmark but i technically bought the dateless one because i you guys know how i am where i just i cannot keep up with my planning and i'm the worst at that technically so saturday let's see i want to make ensalada de bacalao today my mom and my grandma made that yesterday i was craving it i've been craving it for the past two weeks but i craved it even yesterday night more than what i've been craving it the past two weeks because they made it and she showed me and i was like oh, and i already knew i was making it today so i was like yes we're 
doing it so hopefully i have time for that because wait till you guys see what my day holds because i have a lot going on i was gonna try and maybe do one sit down video or at least two i want to do a yearly q a and a monthly faves and then i did laundry yesterday friday yeah i did laundry on a friday after work i got off of work at three and i rushed to do laundry and it worked i honestly i actually like it more than doing it on a sunday my hubby and i were talking about this yesterday he was like do you like it like do you like more fridays and i was like i think i'm gonna switch to fridays if it's empty because yesterday was empty and i like took advantage check that off my list and i did it and i honestly i did it i, I started at 3 30 and didn't finish until like five an hour and a half so it was pretty quick so I don't have to do that today and then I have to go to Ikea and pick up a special something that I'm adding to the house and I have a nail appointment and I have to get this is random but I have to get a backlight for my car I don't know how you call that it's the thing like for when you back out like that light the one from my left side of my car is went completely off so have to get that and then sunday i wanted to be a more of a chill day because last weekend i worked on saturday and i only had sunday off and i explained this on instagram and a lot of people were shocked when they saw that i was working on a saturday so at work we're gonna be working one saturday a month from 9 to 12 i would be working on a saturday so it's really not that bad at all so tomorrow's my chill day i want to go home to go shopping so i might do that tomorrow i have so much space right now and then we rearranged the living area i don't know if you guys can tell i'll give you guys a little bit more of a sneak peek later today but uh, yeah we put the couch right next to hubby's desk where he plays and then the dining area is here which now we actually sit in our dining table and we eat together and we chat and stuff and i'm obsessed i know i said i was gonna sell this table but honestly i don't think i want to do it anymore so i told myself i was gonna get a bits and pieces of like home decor and stuff for what i'm getting at ikea so i'm gonna spoil the surprise don't worry i'm not gonna keep you guys hanging throughout this whole entire video until i go to ikea but i'm not going inside of ikea i ordered it and i it's a pickup order i don't know if i have to go inside i don't honestly i don't know your girl is doing her dream coffee bar cart and when i tell you guys i am so excited for this i can just imagine it. this is a priority but i'm not making it a priority <laughs> I have to wash my car. I'll be set to make it over here right now. I was like, if I have time, I'll do it. And I think that's pretty much it. I have to edit, finish editing my video. And then I do have a package coming today from Nespresso. I bought some pods because I have zero coffee, which is why I'm drinking water instead of coffee for this morning. But I figured I would do a little get ready with me. I'm just going to do something simple on my face. Yeah, I'm going to bring you guys along with me. That's, that's my whole day. I'm going to finish eating breakfast, get ready. And we can go see our girl, Ivy. <laughs> It is flipping cold. It is actually 51 degrees and it is 8.40. I am late to see my girl, Ivy. I told her I might be about five minutes late. I'm never late, guys. So, I don't know. My GPS says I might be there like around 8.55. So, I might be early. Who knows? But whenever I'm late, I still don't like to be driving super rushed. So, I'm still gonna drive at my regular pace. Let's go to do our nail. update i just got off of my nail girl it was honestly a little packed so i didn't vlog or do any clips at all because it was pretty packed but yeah i went with the pink chrome i am so happy with the decision honestly they look so cute it's like a 
pub bubblegum pink with some translucent chrome and I'm obsessed guys when I tell you so I'm gonna run home for a bit and take 30 minutes to kill and finish my vlog editing because it's honestly it's only 10 a.m. so it's really not bad and I can just go and finish editing my vlog and probably download it and while it downloads and uploads I can go to Ikea and get my stuff because I kind of want to go to Ikea and I also want to go to get some food a la in, in the guaguita over there so I might do that but it's too early for lunch so because that I'm for sure craving I'm craving like camarones al ajillo so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get some Starbucks now I have to pee so bad but Hopefully I don't beat myself while I'm on my way home. After Ikea, I have to go to Walmart, get the ingredients for the ensalada de bacalao. But yeah, I'm gonna go to Starbucks. There's Starbucks nearby, so I'm gonna go and get a caramel frap. I'm kinda into the caramel frappuccino since my drink is gone. I didn't even know the last time I got my drink was the actual last day that they had the pumpkin season here and the winter season. So it's, it's very sad. Hi, can I get a venti caramel frappuccino with extra caramel drizzle? Extra caramel drizzle, okay. And that should be all. That's it? Okay, 637, thank you. Thank you. That's my current order, guys. All right, guys, update. I just got my Starbucks. I decided to go to Tampa instead of going home because I feel like I'm gonna waste my time and I'm technically gonna be in Tampa at 12 if I leave now. So, cause it's technically a 30 minute timing for like going to Ikea, but I'm gonna go to Target first. I'm nearby a Target. So I did have that as a plan for tomorrow's to-do list. So I'm gonna get it out of the way now. I'm gonna go to Target and then right after Target, I'm gonna go to Tampa and see what little knickknacks and home decor stuff I find for the house and i do know i found like i know they have like this coffee in the dollar section they have a lot of coffee things and i am doing this coffee bar so i am beyond excited but i came up with this idea i've had this idea in my mind for months guys and i don't even know if i've talked about it so i don't think i have and i talked to hubby about it like when my in-laws were here and i was like i would love to do that if we take the tree out and we rearrange and we have space and he was like oh my god i think that would actually look so good so i got this coffee bar like white coffee bar that matches I think it matches perfectly with my our dining table. I'm gonna put it like in the little corner of the window, like I told you guys. I have lots of plans and hopefully it comes along together and I can show you guys a little sneak peek of me decorating it. I'm so excited. I'm gonna have my own coffee bar. You guys know I'm a coffee lover. This is my thing. I just love coffee. Maybe I can find some twinkly lights to put around the coffee bar. I, ugh, I'm so excited. Successful char target. <laughs> Successful target trip. I am now heading home. Uh, not home I wish it's now 11 o'clock on the dot so it's perfect because I was assuming I would leave around that same time to go to Ikea I'm out of breath because I don't know I just 
tried scanning everything really quickly and just getting out of the way because there was so many people in Target. I'm kind of out of breath, but let's go to Ikea and pick up our bar card. I did get a few knickknacks and stuff for it as well as some things for the dining table because now we have like, we actually eat there. So now we have to have it decently, you know, cute. So I'm going to decorate it and stuff and I got some placemats. I got like a, a table. How do you call that? I don't know. Like un mantel, you know, because I have to say it in Spanish because I don't know how to say it in English. Also, I got like three compliments in Target that my face looked flawless. So now I know I did a good job with doing my makeup today. This ColourPop No Filter Foundation is honestly no joke. I'm obsessed and I love it. I forgot how much I was obsessed with it. And then I stopped getting into it. And now look at us. Made a, found a good foundation decision today. <laughs> Anyways, let's go to Ikea. Look at me, Nana. <laughs> Woo! We're practicing for the RBD concert. Repete, repete. Yo digo R, tú dices P, D, R. Get the picture. Así es. Y no hay nada que no hacer. Por mis besos y mis sueños. ¿Cómo le explico a mi alma? Que se terminó, que hasta en mis sueños te veo. Sin ti yo me muero. I'm in traffic, guys. Don't worry. I'm driving. <laughs> I secured the package. We got the bar card. Ah, she's safe. I thought it was gonna come montado, but I guess I have to montarlo myself, which is gonna be a pure headache. Because if you know, you know, IKEA has the little tiniest pieces that you probably have to montar. It's stupid, I know, but yeah. We're still gonna do it. I didn't find a twinkly lights at Target, but I did get a lot of stuff. So I'm going now to the guaguitas to buy some mofongo con camarones al ajillo. Hopefully the frappes are there so I can buy some. I don't know. Last time I was there, they didn't have them. So hopefully they are. Hopefully they're there. Don't, don't honk the horn at me because I'm not the one who's supposed to be moving. Okay? Okay? Okay. Thank you. I'm just gonna buy my mofongo. The frappes are not here, but it's okay. Hey guys, I got home, unloaded everything, and now I am home. I'm doing some editing, finishing my vlog so I can get it up while I show you guys my haul and everything. Talk with my sister on our, on our way back, and I have a lot of updates and stuff to talk about and i might make this vlog a little bit longer because i want to update you guys with my kindle i want to update you guys with my airpods the things i've gotten for christmas that i am obsessed with any like christmas regrets or things like that so i have a lot a lot of stuff so i might update you guys with that tomorrow and we just might have a chill day and just chatty sunday I can tell you guys that i've been loving my gifts so i'm gonna edit i'm gonna finish editing and then i'll give you guys a haul of the stuff i got at target at walmart i went to walmart I didn't show you guys that but I, I went to Walmart and I got the ingredients for the ensalada de bacalao and I also went to La Abuelita I got bacalao and yeah so I'll give you guys a haul let me give, give you guys a haul of all the stuff I got at Walmart which is the least uninteresting thing so in walmart i got this tyson chicken strip crispy chicken strip these were so good and then i got some green leaves some cabbage some tomatoes and then in the abuelita actually it's so funny i went for one thing and i always leave with more than one thing i got my bacalao which is what i needed from the abuelita in the checkout section i saw candy and i caved in and i got i guess dessert for me and hubby we consider this dessert because it's like our comfort snack time at night so when we're craving something because i'm so full that honestly i'm considering for that to be my dinner i don't even know if i should make the ensalada bacalao because if i should leave it for tomorrow because i'm so full right now but i don't know i, I might make the arroz if not i'll make 
hubby some baba salteada with the chicken because I'm so full from that meal. I ate the whole thing. I didn't even show you guys, but I told you guys I was going to the Huawei's to buy mofongo gong camarone al ajillo and I ate the whole thing. I didn't even show you guys because I got home so hungry. Let me give you guys a quick haul of what I got from Target. These, you know, I was only going for the dollar section area and I ended up with like, I spent like 80 bucks at Target. I'm going to start to incorporate more things in like, I'm going to switch around like my kitchen dining sets like the pink bowls and the blue that's kind of getting old for old for me so, and i'm nearly more towards the neutral tones this year so i think i'm gonna go with more neutral tones and those bowls like they look nice and all like from the outside but inside tanto rapao with knives or like from the whole eating and it's time for me to move on so i got new ones i got a set of two just for now but these are so cute and they were only two dollars i do know that these are normally cost the same price but these are more like smaller and more deeper than the pink ones i'm like looking at the pink one right now that's why i'm staring that way these are by the brand made by design from target i will try and link every Everything that I can down below if I don't find them anything of this just go to your local Target they should probably have it but I just got these really cute bowls simple and white they look very chic got some Starbucks Pike Place roast Nespresso virtual I think I've tried this before if I don't mistaken it's like a medium chocolate and toasted nutty kind of flavor for my Nespresso pods just well until it gets here because I don't think it gets here until tonight and if it gets here tonight I might tell hubby to go and get me the pack if not like when he comes home if not i'll get it tomorrow morning but i wanna planning on sleeping in tomorrow morning so i was like i need to wake up to some coffee so i got this just to try and see because i don't remember the flavor of this so it's gonna be kind of new for me planning on setting up the bar cart today so i can put everything over there and i can use my coffee tomorrow so yeah i have a few decors and stuff that i'm gonna put there but i'm also eventually gonna keep incorporating more stuff like i want this coffee bar like sign that i saw target had a dollar section for like their like dollar spot was they had like a whole aisle for like coffee and i guess they took it out and replaced it with laundry which is cute i love it but i i, I didn't want i wanted to for them to still have it and I, they didn't have it so i left a little bit unhappy so but it's okay what are you gonna do with that section once you take your nespresso and you put it over there i know there you guys are gonna ask me that so i'm just gonna say i don't know i'm excited that i'll have the little space area here more for like drying my my dishes and stuff like that like my drying rack area yeah i might get this little like drying rack thing that comes and you can put the plates and stuff i'm planning on maybe i can get that tomorrow also love the ones got some salsa <laughs> planning on getting probably doing that or i might put my air fryer i don't know if i mentioned this but i got an air fryer for christmas for my my parents and my sister so i might be able to put that there because it's not super huge i got these little plants for like this cute plant tube that i got i don't know how it's called but i'm planning on putting these in here and making it really cute these were a dollar and then these were like five no three dollars this is so cute and bougie i'm really impressed i might put this either somewhere around the house or i'm gonna put it on the bar cart yeah i'm thinking of moving my and i like a for tomorrow so like i'll have time to put that because i'm really excited to put that together i got this cute pop of color pink a dollar as well and then of course we had to get a mug we are doing a whole coffee bar cart so i had to get a mug so i got this one also disclaimer please ignore my christmas pillows and my wall decor that was the only thing i forgot to take off from christmas so i might have to do that tomorrow and put these away oh that's about to fall so close to falling how did that not fall did you guys see that i got this really cute mug it says hello gorgeous it's so pretty it was seven dollars like the mugs they used to range in about four to six four to five dollars and now they're gone up to seven freaking dollars and i love like the woody material on the bottom and just the cute message of hello gorgeous what Fire! ah you're the best i got my 
my espresso. Next thing, some placements for the dining table. This was six dollars. The placements. It's honestly was pretty pretty cheap for me. It's from again, it's from the Trust Hole brand, I think. Really cute. I wanted some wood tones like for it. I was gonna get that wood one that I saw. But it was completely wood, but I was like, I feel like Hubby's not gonna like that. Um, he's gonna be like, hey, todo madera, te canto de madera. <laughs> oh, I got another plant. I was like, didn't I get another plant? I knew I did. I got another cute plant, and then I got this thing which oh, creo que es un dio guys you guys see that like that un dio aquí Ugh, whatever anyways i got this tray for five dollars from the dollar section from target it's really cute i don't know what i'm gonna do with this but i'm planning on putting it in the bar cart so really like it i died with these these were so cute they're like coffee accessories it has 10 stir sticks it has 10 coffee sleeves and 10 napkins and look the sleeve says love is brewing and the napkin says something else but i honestly can't read what it says but it's so cute i really I really hope that I can find more things like this and I can like mix mix and match. It was only three dollars, so honestly, I just hope I can get more stuff. I did get an extension cord. It was very much needed. I knew I needed an extension cord for that area there because I'm gonna be putting like my Nespresso and stuff like that. So I knew I needed it eventually. I got these really cute towels that say Bon Appetit. I would have loved to get in a more like neutral color. This is neutral still. It's like green, but I'm not putting green anywhere. Just like my plants and stuff. So maybe I guess it's a good thing. I don't know. I guess it's cute but yeah i love it it says bon appetit and it's cute it's for the kitchen perfect dish towels you know and then this i saw this was so cute it's an arch vase and i'm gonna put another plant over here look how pretty this is this was only three dollars also got a table runner i was like ¿Cómo se mantel in english i couldn't figure that out a table runner i got a neutral gray color i wanted to get something just a simple color that i can mix and match with my placements and mix them around and still use this all year long but it's so cute and it was 18 dollars. and then i got i caved in i've been wanting this for the longest time guys and it was 30 percent off which technically originally this book is what 30 dollars, so it cost me 20 dollars. i finally caved in and i got the magnolia table book i am obsessed and then last but not least i also had to get from the magnolia heart and hand collection i'm obsessed with this collection guys like the neutral the wood tones about this collection i'm in awe i've been needing new cookware slash flatware sets so i got a new one in black it's like a matte black color when i tell you guys i'm obsessed eventually i had to get a huge set i know i love the colorful ones that i have it's a whole vibe and i'm planning on getting more but honestly i also love these and i love that i can mix and match with the colorful ones it it'll still buy them because black matches with everything so i got it for 19.99 20 so yeah this is again from the heart and held with magnolia collection it's so cute hubby i sent him a picture and he was like you gotta get those he was like i might even start eating from those only and not the colorful ones because he said it's a vibe and it matches with his decor as well so you know it's it's really good for like men as well like men like apartment decor you know if you want to stop I guess I can show you guys from the Nespresso pods that I got. I gotta say that this is something that I absolutely needed. I did not. I this time usually I like I'm good at ordering these Nespresso pods on time when I know I'm running out of the Nespresso collection. And when I tell you guys, I don't have a single Nespresso pod. That's why I didn't have coffee this morning. I have nothing. Got these the same set I got last time. The whole four pack set of the this has a name but i forgot <laughs> but i'm just gonna tell you guys the ones i got i got two of the virtual vanilla custard pie these are delicious and then i got one hazelino muffin and one caramel cookie caramel cookie and the vanilla custard pie are like my favorite obviously i love all four but i was like i need to restock on these because i am um, i was obsessed when i got these the last time that i was like i need to repurchase it got that that's that's my haul guys so i'm gonna clean everything up and start to open and unboxing my bar card hopefully it doesn't take me hours because it's honestly it's three o'clock so hoping i'll be done this will only take me like what 30 minutes ish
I don't think it fits. Mm -hmm. p.m. I am about to head out for a second and take out my trash because my trash filled out with everything I love how the bar cart turned out a few little it's and bits of pieces that I did not love and it was the fact that I didn't take measurements like always you know you never take measurements Daya ever so once you come here, let me show you guys a rundown. So there's the twinkly lights and we have the Nespresso. We had to put it like this because clearly it does not fit the other way around. This thing, this is a monster. It's huge. We're just gonna keep it like that. And then obviously I have my waters and stuff on that corner. And I have a whole bunch of cables hidden back there because I have my internet. So that was something that we had to just do. We had to put our internet on the bottom because it, it kept sticking like right here on the side and I did not like that. It was just on the floor. And then over here, once you come this way, we have a little, the cute planter. Yeah, and then I put that in that area and on the bottom eventually i'm probably gonna get like all my little sweeteners like salted caramel the syrups i mean honestly i really like how it turned out and then right in the back i just have the little valentine's day stuff and my ground coffee and yeah my little tray I have my Nespresso pods. I'm probably going to put something around here. Eventually, I could put a plant or something. But I'm not going to do that right now because I don't. I ran out of plants. <laughs> and then I put the other one up over there. So that looks cute. I love that corner. It looks really pretty. And then obviously down here, I just put like my current like mugs that I would be using on an everyday basis. And then these little hearts. I told you guys I didn't find any twinkling lights. But I was able to find these on my storage. And I like how subtle it looks now. I might eventually put my air fryer back there. It's also jamming to some throwbacks as you guys saw. This is all I came? Damn it. I'm here excited. I'm like, I'm going to be more than a little bit. I think I'm going to call it a night with you guys. I am going to vlog tomorrow. I got to take this makeup off. I have to relax. And see you tomorrow. I wanted to kind of hide you guys somewhere because I'm about to surprise hubby because he should be here any minute. But I want to surprise him with the beautiful bar cart. It's time to surprise the hubby. Do you like it? You put it like that. There's a big problem. My coffee no cabe de la del otro lado. Good morning. This right here is my dream. Yes, we rearranged everything a little bit yesterday. I was so excited. I have my sugar, like everything. Sugar. Dun, 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 dun. I'm gonna make some coffee, guys. <laughs>
So, I have a thing. I want to make this a thing in a few vlogs, every here and there in some of my vlogs, where I just want to sit with you guys and maybe have some mini chats, like maybe for like five minutes, go over stuff that I've been going through or what's going on. Coffee chats with Daya. Coffee chats with Daya. What shall we talk about this morning? I woke up at about 7 a.m. and I'm about to start reading a little bit of my Kindle. I have a lot of thoughts. Like I said yesterday, I, was, I wasn't going to leave you guys hanging, but I have have a lot of thoughts of book I'm currently reading I don't know if I love it but I've read so far one two three books I thought it was four I read three books and honestly for me to read three books within three books in the past two weeks and a half maybe three it's insane I don't think I've read a book, like so many books that's in, in less than a month so I'm excited because by the end of this year I do want to do like a whole I've seen this around YouTube and I'm inspired to do something similar where I want to just recap like my favorite books of the year I might do it I'm gonna make it a thing books I've read I first read I finish it ends with us I absolutely loved it it did not make me cry the epilogue honestly it was very very cute but it did not make me cry I would rate it 7 out of 10 it doesn't st I think I don't think it tops November 9 and ugly love which is one of my favorite books from Colleen Hoover to be quite honest and then so yeah I read that one and then I as soon as I got my Kindle I bought it starts with us and I was like I have to read it because I was so intrigued I loved it so much that I, w I wanted to keep like read the part two I downloaded it and I read it and that was my first book for my Kindle my first book it starts with us by Colleen Hoover and that one honestly I would rate it a five out of ten I love the whole story in the book I did not love the ending. I don't know if anyone is with me, but that ending was terrible. Spoiler alert, but it was literally him just reading his vows. I don't even know if they got married, if they had more kids, if they moved in, if they always went to Italy and Paris. I never knew what happened. And then I read Window Shopping by Tessa Bailey. That book was amazing. At first, it started a little uninterested. Probably like three or four chapters in, I was like already intrigued and I, I absolutely love the ending ending it was really cute i would rate it an 8 out of 10 i really liked it and it's technically it's christmasy i wanted to read at least two christmas books so i chose that one and then i chose my next one which i read and it was amazing the spiciness in this book i was like shocked i wasn't even shocked with like what they were doing obviously while they were doing spicy stuff but it was the words the words of the how they verbed everything like i don't know how they worded everything how she worded everything it was pretty intense i don't think i've read a book so you know your little typical christmas love story it's really cute it's based off new york a nice christmas dream and then my next book was tease the season for revenge i heard a lot of things but my absolute grab for this book that i was like okay i'm gonna read this book was from tara michelle because tara michelle i follow her i love her i have all my notifications on her youtube instagram everywhere whatnot <laughs> and screenshot all the books she reads and ever since she got a kindle i've been screenshotting her, her book reads and i was like okay i need to read this because it's christmasy and i wanted to add one more christmas book absolutely loved it 10 out of 10 one of my favorite books of the new year for sure it's up there very spicy very very spicy but it's technically about this by morgan elizabeth by the way the book but it's this girl that she breaks up um this guy horrible there's a lot of verbal abuse from this guy to this girl that they were dating for so many years and all of a sudden he just got sick of her and he broke up with her on halloween when she was so excited to go to this like halloween party with him for his work he's a lawyer he breaks up with her and she goes on full-on revenge mode she made a list of stuff that she was going to do to him and one of her main things was to sleep with his boss she went on this dating app they matched they went on a date and oh my god things took a turn this guy turned out amazing she felt she falls in love with him spoiler alert and they start dating and whatnot and he eventually in the end we'll know that this was all in the first before she fell in love with him planned as like a revenge for her ex mind you this guy is amazing very polite he would open the doors for her he would take her home they lived like let's say like from tampa all the way to miami no orlando and he would take her home not send her in a cab which is what her ex-husband would ex-boyfriend would do so yeah i get why she wanted to do revenge he was awful and she started like going back through down memory lane how he used to treat her but yeah they fall in love and i'm not gonna tell you guys the ending but it was 10 out of 10 it's my first favorite book of the year from last year i can say my favorite books was definitely the love hypothesis that was the first book that i started to get back on the reading grind if you guys remember thanks to that book 
is that I'm obsessed with reading again. I also loved Swear on This Life. One of my favorite, favorite book. Look it up, honestly. I think I got that book from Georgia Richards, I think is her name. And I'm absolutely obsessed. My top five favorite books of 2022, I would say. Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo was one of my favorite ones too. And Ugly Love, of course. My fifth one, I would say it's November 9th. I was so, so cute. Now, the book I'm reading is Things We Never Got Over. And now I'm like not super into to it you know this book but i've heard it's really really good it gets uninteresting in the beginning but then it gets really interesting in the end chapter three right now so yeah this kindle it was the best decision ever i have kindle unlimited i definitely think morgan elizabeth it's one of my she's gonna be one of my favorite authors as well as just like colleen hoover because i was just so obsessed with her her book tis the season for revenge that i was like i want more of her book read this one tis the season for revenge started so good like right from the beginning i was intrigued update on my airpods max i am absolutely obsessed with my airpods max even hubby hubby was like i think i'm gonna start using them i a lot of people are probably gonna be confused because i haven't made this vlog live but i i know you guys are, when i make this christmas vlog live it's probably gonna go live within this week but you guys are gonna be confused because us opening christmas gift we were like all over the place and we weren't feeling our best it was cold our house was cold it was just a lot going on and i put the camera in an angle where not everything looked like it was focused on this like random cream that i had standing you guys will see it i was so annoyed but i still put it in there but when i opened my airpods max a lot of people are gonna notice that i wasn't shocked when i opened it i was shocked with hubby because i did not tell him that i got it but yes i got this for myself from me to me this was a gift from me to me hubby got me the camera and the kindle it was one of my like my two main gifts that i wanted and i for sure told him like i was uninterested on the airpods max because i was gonna get them and i mainly wanted to get them in black or white like a neutral color that i me and him can use because i knew that he was gonna get into the airpods max as well and i'm not planning on using it all the time just when i edit and stuff and when i travel so far it's definitely i would say a 9 out of 10 as a person that wears glasses 24 7 it does get a little annoying because it gets like it gives me a little bit of a headache here but you have to know how to like put it at the exact height you know where really you can pull them up and down with your head height i guess head measurement <laughs> but i other than that i absolutely love it but it's 8 40 in the morning that is my little coffee shot of today and my updates i am also loving my planner i've been planning and writing i did get a google nest that was the first main gift that we bought to each other and i got that from me to us it was for our home and i've been wanting to get it for the past i would say like four to five months i can have full control of what you want and you can pick and choose what playlist you want what am i gonna do today let me get my planner so i can show you guys i haven't had breakfast i am planning maybe either making myself a pancake or maybe the coffee was gonna be my nice breakfast and then i'm gonna make the ensalada bacalao maybe for like lunch time well, i'm just gonna get ready and go out to tj maxx and target i want to get like a dish rack i talked to hubby yesterday he likes the idea of me putting a dish rack over here and i want to get the wood one because i think it will look really cute i love that you can put it together like open it and then like close it and it'll look nice and clean and i can put it away if i want and then i'm gonna read a little bit now and edit start editing this video so i'm not running behind on this but it's definitely i would say my chill day that's my plans for today sorry guys i sound like a man because i have allergies so what's new i'm just reading over here and chill okay it's getting sunnier and sunnier it's 9 a.m i'm going to watch some youtube videos while i get ready see if tj maxx is open i'm just gonna get ready and hit the road see what this day holds for me and then after that i'll go to target and get the dish rack thing i put my tripod away i got myself ready i was able to look somewhat presentable i'm not gonna do my makeup sweater is from Shein turtleneck. I don't know. It was a gift from my mom, and she gifted it to me. It's like a turtleneck bodysuit. And ripped jeans are from American Eagle or Hollister. No, I think they're Hollister. My Converse were a gift from for Christmas. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go head out the door. We're gonna go to TJ Maxx and Target. Of course, we're bringing the Stanley. Don't worry. She she coming with us. Thank you. 
Hey guys, update. I went to that TJ Maxx. There was nothing interesting over there. They had a lot of like St. Patrick's Day decor already and Valentine's Day stuff. They didn't have anything for like daily stuff, like daily decorations. I got literally only three things. I got a candle, the syrup that I showed you guys, and a little wall. Like frame decor thing that's it so i'm hoping target saves my life right now because there's nothing else there was nothing interesting over there but i'm at target so let's go inside i hope that tar this target i'm at a different target because the one from yesterday they had a lot of really cute stuff but they also had a lot of valentine stuff and i want something like every day that i can keep in my cart successful shopping at target finally i got a few stuff that i actually did needed and a few knickknacks and home decor they had lots of more stuff than my local target so that's great now i'm gonna go guess where i'm gonna go buy myself some early lunch it's 11 a.m so i'm gonna go get mcdonald's and have a chill rest of my day at home but yeah i'm so glad that i was able to find a few knickknacks and stuff at target because TJ Maxx was very disappointing. <laughs> hey guys, I am back home. Update, I am back home. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a haul of all the stuff that I got at Target and TJ Maxx. And then I'm gonna start cooking and just wind down for the rest of the afternoon. I just had McDonald's, so. And yeah, I'm, I'm gonna show you guys my haul from TJ Maxx first. I have the cute little, how do you call this? Like decor. It says, take time to make your soul happy. It was really cute. It was $4.99. I wanted to get little knickknacks that weren't super expensive. No more than six bucks. So this was kind of a pretty affordable um, thing. It was just $4.99, honestly. It's so pretty. Of course, as I'm shopping for this, when I'm checking out, this was $6.99. I found this pretty pricey. Like, I know it's big, whatever, but I found it pretty pricey and I had the salted caramel and I love salted caramel, but I love classic caramel more. So I got this one and then I'm planning on getting more syrups when I get my little container thing where, so I can pour it in there. This was $6.99 and then again, didn't find much in TJ Maxx. I got this. This candle was pretty pricey. This cost me $7.99. It's called Warm Warm Fireside. Poured in Southern California. Infused with essential oils. I don't know. I smell this and I was like, my god. This smells amazing. And the whole packaging is so cute. And from Target, I was mainly going for this. I really wanted to get this because I'm planning on putting it there. I love the whole foldable genius idea. It's from Bright Room, the brand. And it was from Target. Target. it was $20 I ain't gonna lie she was pricey I got this random like tray for $3 it's not a tray it's a ceramic jar with a lid it was just $3 and I wanted to find something where I can put like maybe some spoons or something like that I can probably grab and go and just mix around my sugar and stuff. But I love that it came with a lid just in case I want to like cover something and I want to use it for something else. I've had my spoon rest for, oh my god, I think ever since we moved here, honestly. I don't like this. It bothers me a lot. It's like cemento, kind of like, like that texture. But it was $3. It's a spoon rest. And I really needed a new one because I've had mine for a long time. And then I finally saw, literally, this Target. It was a very successful trip. I finally found coffee messages and stuff where i can put in my coffee bar so i found these set of three and i saw these on tiktok yesterday from someone like one of the bloggers one of them says i love you latte love and we go together like cream and sugar and what i love is that it's not just valentine's day theme it is but it you can have it all year long and you would think that it's valentine's day theme i think you guys will think it's valentine's day thing you know i was craving this <laughs> i got some tarani caramel syrup and this one is specifically you can keep it outside so i love i love 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 i'm gonna be getting more i want to get like the white chocolate drizzle too i wanted to get the white chocolate one but they didn't have it but I'm, i want to get the white chocolate because it's one of my favorite new flavors for like coffee i got some french vanilla i was running out so i got some of that this is not technically coffee related but i think i'm gonna put in here i'm gonna put some of these <laughs> i think it's cute and it's a baking set and i guess some of them i can i guess this one i can put it away and then these two maybe i can put it there and i think it will look cute it's just three it was just three dollars and i really like the colors i got the little bamboo flatware cup this is like the add-in for drying rock but this is technically made for you to put the spoons and the, the forks and knives and stuff with so they can dry it's just eight dollars so i figured i would get it as well i got a candle this candle smells amazing i don't know i don't know what it is but oh my god this 
smell of this just I'm in pure awe moment but it's the fresh linen and sea salt infused with essential oils plant wax blend it's a candle it's gorgeous I'm planning on putting it on the center of my table and I think these are new because I've never seen these around from threshold and it smells so good I can't stop smelling it it's like fresh laundry and a clean home in a candle <laughs> beautiful okay we talk about the design and how cute it is and chic and delicate and beautiful and all the above and then last but not least i got from the magnolia collection heart and hand with magnolia collection that i got the oil and vinegar set i want to get more neutral things i feel like this year i i'm not in like a full like colorful decor vibe i'm like right now in the neutral decor vibes so i love it and i'm gonna keep it up and i liked these when i saw them and i was like god these would be perfect because now i have space and i can put it next to the book i always use oil and vinegar all the time so i was like perfect and these were 14.99 it was not bad and it comes like at a pretty decent big size i am gonna start cooking i'm gonna take a break from vlogging and probably cook and i'm gonna call my sister and see what she's up to i'll update you guys a little later then Christmas. She's a beauty. She a lover. She a track star. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna close the vlog here. I ate dinner. I had dinner. I this is TMI, but I literally had to throw away twice, like two of my bites. I had anxiety. I kept thinking that I had a spina on my mouth, and that's the worst feeling. So I'm never buying that freaking brand of bacalao ever again. I'm gonna close the vlog. I already started editing it. I'm so proud of myself that I'm already catching up editing my vlog. So hopefully I'll be able to edit that within the next two to three days and i'll be able to make it live for you guys without that being said i hope that you guys enjoyed my vlog first vlog of 2023 i am so happy and excited for what's to come for this brand new year for us and youtube also what are the freaking odds that i reached 4,000 subscribers i think two days before the new year's ended and like 2022 and i don't know if you guys remember but i did say that i'm i was hoping that i reached 4k subscribers right before i I finished the year before we all finished the year so I'm so so happy we did we reached this very very big milestone and honestly I, I really hope and that we'll keep on growing I hope that you guys keep loving my vlogs and my videos all kinds of my videos lots of more sit down videos coming your way for sure so stay tuned because I have lots of really fun ideas and I just I cannot wait lots of upcoming trips as well I'm not gonna give that away yet I'm gonna keep it a surprise but it's definitely a gift from hubby like an early very very early birthday gift 
stay tuned for that guys but yeah i again so so many fun videos and vlogs coming your way and i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog don't forget to like comment and subscribe and turn all the post notification bell on so you guys can be notified every time i post a video and without that being said i'll see you guys on the next one adios